How's it going, everybody? Whoa. Almost dropped my phone. Um, so, I've learned a good lesson today. I'm out here selling my kettle corn. And I've only sold four bags. I've been out here almost four hours. Five dollars a bag. I noticed when I bring my grill or my cooker so that I can eat something, or if I at least have my kettle corn equipment. See, today I woke up late. So I just grabbed a table. I don't have any of my equipment here. Tomorrow, I guarantee I'll have all my equipment here. Because the more equipment that I have, the more people decide to show up. And at least stop and see what I got, and I can usually get a sale. Every once in a while, they'll be like, no, never mind. But that's because they're just looking for barbecue and stuff like that. But... If I have my kettle out here, my table, they see stuff set up, people stop. All I got, two tables. I got a six foot table and a four foot table. And I got a little bit of corn that I made the other day. I figured, shoot, if I sell half of it, I'll be all right for a couple hours. But uh, since I've been here, the clouds started rolling in too. I don't have my car, I got dropped off. I'm about to find out what this weather's gonna be like. But uh, I figured, you know, I woke up late, I'd just grab all my corn that I have bagged up already from yesterday. And I won't make any more, I won't set anything up because I'm running late, why? Why well, set it all up, I'm running late. I just set up my table with my stuff on it. Well, that ain't never going to happen again. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to be making sure 100% I've got my equipment. So for anybody that's watching this and knows anything about having a concession stand or anything like that, if you just bring your product, if, if you're able to, and you bring your product and just have it already done up, you're not going to make very many sales, people. What they want to know and what they want to see and what they want to hear is, this is fresh, I just made it today. While I'm here at my spot, and they want to see your, your stuff there. If your stuff ain't there, nobody's wanting to stop. Yeah, it's been a big deal for me today. I've been thinking about it for about an hour and a half as to why I don't have any comp any people. And as you can see, I'm on a very busy road. It's like this nonstop. So, if I had my stuff out here, if I had my grill or my cooker for me to make my own food with and everything, People will stop. Hey, what kind of stuff you got? Oh, we thought it was a barbecue. Nah, man, but I got the greatest kettle corn in the world. You should try it out, man. Get one bag for five bucks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check it out. I'll let you know. And people open it up and half the bag's gone before they stop talking to me and get in their car and leave. So, I mean, I'm bringing my equipment. That's my advice for everyone that has any kind of, like, stand where they can prepackage your stuff you need to have your equipment out there if you're supposed to have electricity or whatever to run your your equipment at least bring it out people like don't just set your stuff up have your equipment out there whether you can use it there or not don't matter where you're set up at or what you're doing that's my advice man like gotta do it man in order to make some money you know talking to everybody not just myself I'm even talking to the kids you know they want to have 
a lemonade stand or they want to have this or they want to have that. No, you got to have the equipment out there, whether you're making it fresh right in front of people or not. You got to have it out there. All right, guys. Well, I got to go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.